Okay, playing Caro Go. Graphics already look pretty nice. Press enter slash start. Oh, can I use an Xbox controller? Let's find out. Okay, I've got my Xbox controller plugged in. Let's try it. I can! Start works, very nice. So we've got play, options, credits, yeah, we've got a Discord and a Twitter too. Oh, let's go play. We have three files to save. Oh, let's just play number one. Just get my mouse off the screen. <laughs> cool intro. <laughs> right. So huh, the arrow points whatever way I'm moving. And the A is jump. I can lick. Oh, and if I lick in the air it sort of holds me there. Alright, so both X and Y are lick, and both A and B are jump. I like how simple the controls are. Ah, so whatever way I'm holding my uh, stick is where the arrow points. Except down. Can I read the sign? Select. All right, select and start. Both do that. Continue. Oh, I did notice one thing. When I press continue, it jumps like the um, controls are still being used. Like, even though I wasn't in the menu. Doesn't really matter. K or X? X. Ah! Oh, that's just tongue, so it's just teaching me to eat flies. Fair enough. Makes sense, I'm a frog. Can I jump up on that ledge there? Maybe I can't. Uh. Righto. Um, yeah, I sort of thought I could jump up on this little ledge here. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Up. Hey there, fella. Wanna be a hero? Yep. Something weird is going on to the right. Done. So I'm not getting out of here. <laughs> J or A? Okay. Ah, he's teaching me to jump. Yep. I like the graphics. Wow, I can. Jeez, this guy's got a strong tongue. I like the sunbeam too. Can I use this flower? It looks like it should do something. No. Oh well. I see some spikes, let's not jump on them. Sideways plus... Okay. Ah, I can wall jump! Excellent. That was a very nice little tutorial for that. So don't fall down there, there's a little caution thing. I don't know if I can help but fall down there. I don't know, we're going down, let's see what's down here. Okay. So I die. I like that it doesn't take me back too far. So maybe I gotta like aim up and ah. It seems to make a difference which way I'm aiming when I jump. Nice. So I can move this. Ooh, dead. Ah, oh, I reckon I need to. I can't tell if this is pretty hard or if I just suck. <laughs> there we go. So I probably need to push this. Yes! Okay, that makes sense. I kind of want... Yeah, there we go. It's going to say I sort of wanted the screen to move ahead of me there, but it's just, it just does it in its own way. That's fine. This lights up like I should be using it, but I don't know... I don't know what it's for. Oh, I can shoot down as well. Up plus X. Ooh! I like that mechanic. Alright. 
assume I'm going this way. Looks like the other way I can eat a fly. Whatever, let's just go to the right. Um, it's like I can wall jump up here, or can I just grab it? No. Just go over the top. Up plus X. Ah, oh, it wants me to grab the bottom of it. Alright. I can just hang on. <laughs> Mechanics are really cool. I'll just hang here. I like that I don't have to hold any button. And I can... No! That's right, I know what I have to do. Oh, I got on top. I wonder if that's a glitch, or if uh, it's just something you can do if you're good enough. I want to eat this fly. Yo! I got him. And then I died. <laughs> uh, took... Oh no, it didn't take me like that far. Am I meant to... Is the fly just like a trap? I don't know. But anyway, I'll leave him for now. Righto, so here's the weird thing going on in the bushes. Snake. So I'm guessing he's the bad guy by the look of that. I like how the camera automatically puts it to where it makes sense. Maybe these things are save points. Whoa! Oh, whoops. Yes, they are save points. Music's pretty nice too. Oh, I was lucky there. I like the frequent save points. I wonder. I feel like I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Alright, what do you got to say, buddy? Partner, take some time to rest. Fancy snake just came out of nowhere and lit this fireplace for me. Catching those shiny bugs. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, not the talking type. <laughs> Ooh, this is like a challenge level? What happens if I talk to him again? Okay, he just says the same thing. Fair enough. Oops. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, I don't lose any progress, so that's nice. Oh, there's a halfway point I can get to. Man, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> well, at least it resets quickly. Okay, I really gotta stop doing and think about it for a while. Ha! Ah. Bit of a difficulty spike here. I feel like I should be able to, to lick onto the thing twice if I was good. Yes, I can. Oh, wonder. I thought before I could just hang there, but this time I don't seem to be able to. Maybe it's because it's the grass. Ooh, all right, it's getting a little frustrating. Just need to make your your character fall just a little bit slower for bits like this. And I'm a bit confused as to why before I felt like I could hold on to the bottom of things, like it didn't bounce me back off the top straight away. Whereas this time it seems like I lick on and then I've got like half a second before it drops me. Okay, this bit's a bit too hard for me, so I'm gonna go back the other way. I assume that's like a challenge bit. Neat. 
Do I have variable jump height? I do. I do have variable jump height. That's nice. Oh, the flies kill me! <laughs> I never realised. Oh, there's spikes there! It's not the fly that killed me, it's the spikes. Of course. I think just the fact that there's these... I hope you can see my mouse in the video. There's these bushes here under the fly. It just kind of hid the spikes for me a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'm just silly. So I need to get up there. I can do this. Ugh. Maybe I can just... Ha! <laughs> I can't tell if that's cheesy or not. Wall jump, nice. Uh, now what am I doing? I didn't feel like I should have hit that. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, I need the box. Nice. I have three flies. I don't really know what the flies do. Uh, okay, maybe I need to bring it back this way a little bit. Ooh, oh, so close. I got it. Nice. I really like the graphics. Uh, I like the mechanics. The music's nice, but it's starting to get a little bit repetitive. I don't know what the flyers do yet, but that's okay. They're still just fun to collect. Maybe it'll become more clear later. Whoa! <laughs> Gotta eat this fly again. Whatever. I wonder if I can just cheese this with two boxes. Can I push two at once? No. I might have just stuffed myself up. <laughs> push this one into that one. But you can kind of push two boxes. Righto. So I'm guessing I gotta lick the wall really quickly. Yep. I got like a, a shop or something here. Ah, oh, it's the end of the level! Okay. Neat. I like that... I like that the stage ends like an old school game rather than just being one giant world. I'm kind of... It's just a personal preference, <laughs> but I'm, I'm a little bit over the whole, like, everything has to be one enormous world kind of games. Jungle jumps! There was 16 flies in there! Right, so I missed a lot of that level. Red Hot Ruins. Okay, so, so far. Intro's really good, I reckon. Uh, it taught me the game pretty well. There was only a few things that kind of annoyed me, and I expressed them throughout the level. Um, I like that I didn't start in this room with the level selected, just chucked me in a level, and now it's clear that that was a level and this is the hub world. And I'm guessing that I'm going to either unlock a new ability in here that lets me get to a new level, or maybe it's just the alpha and they only have two levels, I'm not sure. Let's try Red Hot Ruins. Okay, um, so it's got a bit more of an autumn feel. 
I like that it changes the scenery a little bit. I wouldn't have minded if it changed it a little bit more, actually, to, like, give me a bit of a different world. But, you know, just the slightly different, uh, colours is still okay. Ooh. Okay, so switches open things. The tongue mechanic is probably the coolest part. That's cool. I'm guessing if I hit one of those, I die. By the way, they have angry faces on them and look spiky. <laughs> nice jump. What is this? There's a small inscription written on the wall. To the one who restored life. The one who restored order. The one who restored things worth living for. And the last part is completely unreadable. Okay. So some kind of larger narrative purpose that has. I like that you didn't chuck this sort of stuff at us straight away. It just gradually sort of came into the game. Still assuming I can't touch these. Whoa, oh, that was more luck than skill. Uh, right, so I did manage to get on top of one of these last time. I don't know how to do that again. I'm just gonna have to hold on to the bottom. So I want to eat that fly. I'm feeling this might be the death of me, but whatever. I think I am. Um, didn't put my tongue out as far as I could have there. Got him! One fly. I wonder if I can just jump on top of it. Yes I can! Okay. So this is going to take a little bit of timing. Easy. As it should be. I like that the early levels are easy. One pillar gone. I didn't even notice that there was pillars there I had to move. <laughs> the jumping sound effect is kind of nice. Very subtle. I like it. Phew! Uh... Okay. Wow, this bit looks hectic. I got a fly. Ah, huh, that's all I get, the fly. I thought I'd have a lever or something. Do I have to get the fly again if I do that? Oh, I bet you I do. Oh, I suppose I'll try and get it. I'm the sort of player where I don't really care about like extra collectibles too much. <laughs> I got it the first time, so I'll do it again. So now I gotta get back. Alright, stop it. I'm not getting the fly again. Uh, it's, to me anyway, it's a little bit annoying that you have to, like, you have to escape with your life after eating the fly. I kinda wish that if I got there and then died, it didn't matter, but that's just me. This last switch. I like that the camera takes you to where it wants you to see, rather than just assuming that you know what's happening. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> didn't have much say on that one. Switch up here. Oh. Okay, so the fire is just wherever I am. How do I get up there? I don't know how I've managed to dodge this every time.
Alright, so it kills me to fall down there. Okay. I feel like I need to get up the top, but it, my tongue doesn't quite reach. I need to just be at the max height. And I... I don't know how I'm not getting hit by that. It feels like I should be. I mean, I appreciate it. <laughs> so I've hit A switch. I probably need to hit the switch again. Uh, it's very lenient with the being hit by that, and I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> uh. I don't know how I'd manage to do that. Got him! Cool. Um, do I have to go backwards now? Looks like it. Alright, there's another switch. That's fine. Oh no! How far back is it going to take me? Phew, just a If it took me back to the start, I might have rage quit. <laughs> Oops. I forgot to hit the switch anyway, so it doesn't matter. I get a feeling that for the developers, this would be frustratingly easy. As in, I know from making my own game, that things like this, you end up playing your game so much that hard things feel really, really easy to you. And I think that they've had a lot of discipline to um, to not fall into that trap. Whoa! Okay, that confused me a little bit. I assumed he got hit by a block, but I guess not. Okay, so I got my block out. Now I need to push on top of it. Go, 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 before I get zapped. Yes! Oh, but I got hit afterwards. Alright, that felt a little bad, because I don't think I had the ability to move when it did that, when I came back to it, I was just crushed. So maybe that's something you'd have to work on. I mean, I, it feels a little bit picky, because this game is really pretty good. <laughs> like, this is just a demo, but it's pretty polished. So, like, I gotta avoid dropping the block on him there because I would have just been hit as soon as I came back. I'm guessing I'm gonna fight him one more time. Right, now he shoots, woo, like homing fireballs as well. Oh crap. That was my bad. Fireballs go through walls. I guess I'm gonna need to. Don't know what I'm doing with that. <laughs> ah, okay, right. Right, right, I get you. Oh, BS. Wall jumping feels... I, I don't know how to explain what feels wrong with it, but it just... Sometimes it feels really great, and other times it feels like something's missing. I don't know, I just get this feeling like I'm doing what I've done other times that's worked, and sometimes it just doesn't. I just start focusing again. This is actually pretty hard. Yeah, 
It feels bad getting stuck in that little crevice when these things come, when the, the laser beams come, because it feels like there's no way to dodge them there. Mercy of the wall jump. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should be jumping off the other wall. Come on. Oh, okay, gotta do it again. Oh, I gotta hit him a third time. No, I was so close. I get how those places work now. They don't hurt you until they turn into the, the second part of the animation. I thought they were just being really generous with the hitboxes. <laughs> Taken more hits. I thought I would have killed him after the third one. Okay. Uh, oh, he's kind of dead. Yep. Nice. You saved me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Snake. What a nice fire horse thingy. He seems pretty fine without his head. Uh, it's the snake! <laughs> I like his wine glass. Hey, it's Gecko Man. Partner? You're right, partner. Cool. Alright. And. Level finished! 29 deaths! <laughs> I don't know what's good or bad, but um, it feels like it feels bad. <laughs> ah, that's the end of the game. Cool! Neat little demo. Um, so, feedback. Mostly very good. I think you've pretty much thought of everything. I can tell that there's a lot of work being put into this, and I think from what I've been told there was a team of people working on it and it really shows because like most assets most most facets of the game seem pretty good like the art the sound design the level design uh, just it it sort of has a more polished feel to the controls as well I know I complained a little bit about some bits but I I couldn't tell if it was my fault like if I was doing something wrong because I'm not the best like platform player, platform gamer, <laughs> it could be me, uh, but yeah, it, it, like I play a lot of uh, amateur games on itch, and this sort of felt better, so that's a compliment, like it, it felt like, it felt like it could be a real, a real quote-unquote game, it felt like it could um, be something like you'd buy on Steam. Um, the demo didn't overstay its welcome as well, it just seemed to keep like the best bits in it, it didn't just like drag on for lots of levels with monotonous stuff, and I really liked that too, like the levels were more concise. The mechanics were great, like the tongue moving yourself and other things, that's a great idea. 
and the fact that he's a frog, it just makes sense and you're eating flies. I really liked it. I'd say it's one of, if not the best, like, amateur itch game. I don't even know if you guys are amateurs, maybe you make games for a living. Uh, but yeah, it felt really good. Uh, the few the few negative things I had to say I, I sort of expressed throughout the video, but I'll, I'll try my best to recap. Uh, the wool jump felt a little janky, but as I said, I can't tell if that was my fault or if that was the game's fault. Like, I'm not... I don't usually play a lot of platformers, so it could just as well be me. But it, something felt a bit odd about it. Um, the fact that when you used your tongue to latch on to some things, you got to stay there, and others you dropped straight away. That didn't... like, it took me a while to... Uh, wrap my head around that. Like, there was this one bit where I kept trying to play it the way I was in another bit, where I could hang on there and think about what I was doing, and it just dropped me in, like, half a second from the, the surface I was holding on to. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Uh, I don't know, I guess that just has to be clearer. I do like that the bit that I couldn't finish wasn't a necessary part of the game, though, because I think I would have just quit... I think that bit was too difficult for me. So I like that you've got this sort of variable difficulty kind of built into it. Uh, what else can I think of that I didn't really like? I, I liked the sound design. Like, it seems well balanced. Like, I like the volumes of sound effects compared to music and that. I would just say that maybe the music got slightly repetitive, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, hmm... I don't know, it's hard to think of negative things to say, because it was pretty fun. Um, I'm not usually, as I keep saying, I'm not usually a platform kind of guy, platformer kind of gamer, but I quite liked that, and I I think just the way it was so smooth and graphically consistent sort of kept me in. And it was simple enough too, like it didn't expect me to like have a whole bunch of information in my head at once, like the mechanics just were intuitive enough, so... That's, yeah, that's very, very good. Uh, if you got any questions about, like, uh, my play experience or what I might change, feel free to ask. I think you've done a very good job. And I hope that you'll finish this and put it on Steam, because I feel like if this was a fully fleshed out game, like, say, say it even just had, I don't know, 10 or 12 levels like that with an end boss and just a bunch of secrets and achievements. That would be a great game. Like, that, that would be a neat little game that you could play, like, over a couple of days or a week and have fun with, and then, yeah, and have enjoyed it. I think you should do that. I hope it all goes well for you. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for making this game. <laughs> I don't think you um, came to me asking for feedback, but I gave you some anyway. Yeah, good job. <laughs>